Okay, hi. I opened your plan in the Home Designer Pro 2016. And uh, I'm going to zoom in to where that uh, return is sticking. Oh, I see. This is an automatic return. Got the idea. Probably, yeah, here it is. If you're going to make it a full return, you don't need to put that in there. You just, uh, there's a checkbox for just full return, which I don't see. <laughs> well, there used to be. There it is. Full. See how, how that 340 uh, width is grayed out when I click on full? That'll probably solve the uh, return problem. I've never seen a return, an automatic return do that, what I saw on your image. Let's take a look at it. <clears throat> oh, okay, looks fine. It's not, oh, I see it. It is barely sticking through the roof there. Yeah, an auto return, you wouldn't be able to manually add it. I thought maybe it was a manual return that you had drawn. These other roof planes you can click on it and and uh, edit, but not this automatic return. Anyway, in Pro, I'm going to take that return off and show you what I was talking about. Over here to roof, and I'm going to turn off auto return, which basically turns that roof plane off. And it's gone. Whenever the auto roof return tool doesn't work, then uh, in Pro you you draw your own. So I'm going to go over to uh, build roof, yeah, roof plane. And I'm just going to draw. A whoops. Oh, I see. I didn't realize yet. I never use auto rebuild roof, so you got that turned on. I'm going to go turn that off. I never use that. Okay. And I, oh, I, I canceled out of that, didn't I? Okay, now I can draw a manual roof plane here, and you just draw, left click, drag, and it creates a, uh, a manual roof plane. And I want it over the wall. It's fine. I don't want it sticking into the wall. Now, let me show you. So you see, see there it is right there. That's the one I created. And I'm going to... Uh, see, the ones that you create yourself, you can select. I'm going to stick it over there. And then you see it's sticking through the roof. So you just grab the corner, corner and, oops, I messed up. And see, now it's not sticking through the roof, but I also goobered up the geometry. I'll fix that in plan view. Let's go pull that back so it doesn't stick through the roof. Okay. And in plan view, I'll fix up my mistake. There we go. That's what I was talking about. And uh, so you can do that. And I thought that's what you had done. Now, let's see what Eric found. He said your some of your settings are off. Okay. I'm going to open this dialog box here and go to the structure tab. And it's set to about nine feet. And this one is about, all these are all set about to nine, not quite nine feet. Now it's a little bit different. Whoa, look at that. You got a almost 11 foot ceiling in the garage. Why? Let's go to edit default settings. 
floor and see what it's set at on the structure tab and sure enough look at that finished ceiling is probably right out of the out of the box at uh, that figure 107 and 5 eighths. I'm going to change that to 9 feet if you and because the software does what these defaults say I mean there'll be some variations basic based upon how thick the floor is <clears throat> I'm going to go back to the garage and check default and, and, and of course it'll follow that uh, default I just set and then you created a second floor. Let's go to Edit Default Settings Floor for the second floor. And you've got it set to not quite eight feet. These settings are important. They're more important than probably anything else. Uh, and they control how the the results you get. So I, I Here's the area over the garage. Oh, there's no there's no room dialog box. If you want a room in there, there's no room. See, this, there's a room here. So what's wrong? Obviously, you intended for this to be an extension of the room, so one of these walls must be improperly marked. I don't see the open icon. Let me double click on that. Oh, it's over here. I'm looking for walls that are improperly uh, set up. They're checked, no room defi definition or something like that. One of these walls is, is that is probably this one. I'm going to check them all. And that one's okay. I'm pretty sure this wall is probably improperly programmed. Yep. See here? No room de definition. Using this to define a room marked this way ensures that you're going to have trouble. So I'm going to uncheck those so it's a regular wall. And now we get a room dialog box in here. And see these, these dashed lines appeared? That's because this is now a room. And uh, let's just get rid of that invisible wall so it's all the same room. Because that looks like that's what it's intended anyway. And now you'll see that uh, it looks quite a bit. Oh, it's not perfect. I got some work to do, but uh, I'm going to do a cross section camera through so you can see both floors. <coughs> So, the ceiling down here in the garage, is 8 feet, because I told it to be 8 feet. Oops, well it's measuring to the top of the door. It should be 9 feet. Yeah, it's 9 feet, and the floor platform, and then the, the second floor. Here's the 8 foot ceiling on the second floor. and. That, those dashed lines appear wherever the roof intersects the flat uh, ceiling and so forth. So that it's very smartly made software, but uh, it's just a mechanical device, and you have to control it and check everything and make make if, if all the settings are correct, <laughs> then you get the the proper result. And if you don't, you you don't get a proper result. You get uh, you know chaos. No, I'm not get, I don't want to say, well, okay, I saved it anyway. So that looked like all that was wrong with your stuff. I didn't think there was very much wrong with it. But uh, pay attention to your settings. You've done a beautiful job on the house. And you just missed some key settings. Oh, one thing I noticed is a big, see this gap here? Oh, maybe you did that on purpose. Yeah, there, there's just a gap there between the, the, the house and the, uh, okay, never mind. Oh, yeah, 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 see there, you got your terrain set wrong. By wrong, I mean it doesn't match the house. So, 
by law you have to have six inches of foundation showing between, I mean, six inches to grade. So I'm going to set just to seven inches. It was at 20 inches. Let's see. That's a little bit. That's a little bit too much. Now the do doors are below the grade. So I'm going to open up the terrain plane again. We'll add, made it. I'm just doing a quick eyeball. We got to have a little bit about of daylight at the bottom of the garage. Not as much as you had. You had to build a little ramp there so you can you don't wreck the house every time you go into the garage. That's all I was talking about. Okay. Very good job overall. It's not perfect. See, now that I set up that uh, model properly, the, some of the 3D objects like that one got lost. Like another one. Oh, uh, maybe you intended for that to be there. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, well, thanks for watching.